Whoa. How are you doing? Good? Very blessed. And yourself? Good, good. It's Pastor Eli. This is the Athos Church. So yes, sir. What's going on here? What's happening? Well, we're... Hold on. Let me make sure his car isn't coming in here. Okay. We're, uh... We're here at... We're, we're, we're here to exhort our brethren to love their pre-born neighbor as themselves. Okay. Because we, we're living in the midst of a, of a holocaust. Okay. And most Christians act like it's no big deal. Okay. And, I mean, we don't know anything about the people here. No, we have the event now. Here. Well, I mean, we, we, know, event. we know that. Yeah, that's why. If you, I mean, I don't want you to stand here. I, I, we are with you. But if you can maybe stand somewhere else. I mean, you can stand there. That's, I don't mind. Why, what's but wrong with us standing here? Because it's in front of the event and many people will come. Oh, we're not, we're not going to block anybody from I know, there. I know, I know, I know, I know. But if you, please, I mean, if you stand somewhere, you know, not not at the door, at the, you know, entrance. Oh, no, we're not at the door. Or you mean This is the entrance. entrance of the church and many people are coming for the yeah. event. So, why, why don't, why, what's wrong with us being, like, on the sidewalk where the trap, I mean, not That's blocking. fine, you can, you can stand there, but don't cover the, the oh, no, we're you not, know, we're, the okay. sign okay, yeah, we, things we, like that especially the entrance you can you are you're free I mean, okay. i'm i'm not uh, telling you to leave yeah, i mean we, we can that. We'll, we'll, we'll situate where we're not blocking the sign but i don't want to you to block the, the entrance and even the, the i mean the, the sign i mean yeah, this we, is we because people see, see because this is not atmos now we have special event for atmos oh, you well, know what well, i mean yes sir, we know. i worship and prayer so if you can do something great i mean but but i don't want you to you know to stand in front of the sign oh, or we, at we, the we, we entrance won't. and people say oh and confuse people because this is this is not the focus now our focus well we're inviting people it, to you know what i mean well i, I do welcome to come to church and and worship with us if you want but i don't want you to block the church and entrance and people oh, we, think we that you and people think because you're not with us you have great ministry well, we're, we're christians huh? we're christians i know brothers and sisters. <laughs> but you're not with atlas and now this okay. event you know what i mean i'm trying to say i mean like but i don't want just you know to block the address on the side that's what, that's what i'm saying okay yeah we, we yeah we won't block anybody from getting in yeah yeah i mean we'll, we'll just stand but i don't want people to come here and focus on this now why because we have different events well, we, can, we can talk later about it. I mean, I have no... We have worship, we have prayer, we want to pray, we will pray for the people like that. I mean, that's that's part of our mission. You know well, what I mean? Always, when, when we have a mission, we focus on our mission at this time. Okay. So that's what I want to focus now. Well... Prayer well, and worship. Well, I mean, we it's should not be, advertise or, you know, and protest or things like that. You know what I'm trying to say? I mean, it's not really, we're not protesting at the I'm, place where we're just trying to raise awareness that very good. children, are, our neighbors are going to be murdered tomorrow morning, literally. It's very good. And most Christians act like it's no big deal. Very good. I'm and with you. like, and, and just, I'm just ask, asking the question, how can we worship and praise God when no, no, we no, know no, children no. are being, going to be murdered tomorrow morning, literally? Don't enter to, to, to this. I'm a pastor. I'm just, I'm just asking. I, I'm a pastor. I know. Okay. I'm with you. Okay. Well, how, don't, 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 you know, assume that I'm not, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have compassion for what's happening in the world, especially for those who are killed, the children who are killed. I have passion and compassion and pray for them day and night. I will pray not only for this. I pray for people like you, like other people who have, who don't know Christ as personal and and, and, and Savior, right? So I pray for everybody. I pray for the communities. I pray for unity in the churches. I pray that Jesus will reveal himself in a way because if Jesus not reveal himself, people don't know. They're still doing it. And because they live in darkness, we want people to awake. So we proclaim light in the city. We proclaim Jesus that come into their life and enlighten their life. Then they will get it. Because you cannot preach to the, the devil, tell him that, tell the devil, don't do that. He will do it anyway, with me or without me, because the devil is devil, evil. And there's a lot of evil in this world. Yes. I'm not going to fight evil, 
I'm gonna uh, proclaim, I, I proclaim the gospel and he will fight evil. You know, anyway, so we are here to fight evil and what's happening in the city, but not to fight the churches and believers. Well, we're not fighting churches. I know, I'm not I mean, saying you, okay. but we, I'm talking about myself. We're okay. not gonna, so I'm not kind of gonna fight you. You're doing, you have great cause. But at this time, if you can, please, I mean, I don't want to focus my event, focus on this. You can come anytime. And, and, and stand here but now I just if you can please you know uh, cooperate with me but how do I how do we cooperate I mean just you know sitting there I mean you're sitting there but not on at the door no we're not the door we're not in front of the sign not, this not is anymore. the door I mean I want people oh. to see I mean to come and go okay. because I want them to focus here I don't want people to begin to think different okay. you know have different idea when they come here asking questions they will ask me questions what's well, who that, are these that, people that, why they're standing here they ask they began to ask me why these people come and standing here so we should i don't understand well, it, it can it can give you an opportunity to say they're here because they're trying to abolish abortion that could be one we could be helpful to yeah, you that's fine hey, and how are you doing we, we, we could be an assistance you. to you to say that's they're, fine, they're trying fine. to help us to love our neighbor as ourselves because you have two abortion mills here in milwaukee and most Christians don't don't act like that. Like it's no big deal. That. But doesn't everybody have a choice to decide how they're going to engage with this? It feels like you know we're here we're here to gather together to lift up the name of Jesus to worship the Lord, and um, it feels like a little bit intrusive. Well, I mean, you know, a little bit confusion to people. I mean, I yeah. don't want, I don't want you to feel. I mean, bad or yeah, we don't want to yeah. feel also that uh, we're, you know yeah. we're, we're brothers and sisters yeah. if you believe yeah. in Jesus yeah. as your Savior and you are, are you know yeah. that's it right then we're all, we are and, and so let's, Lord, let's Lord, coordinate yeah. cooperate yeah the Lord loves all, every person that's coming in right and so we just and they may or may not have a full understanding you know sometimes we can people, help them yeah with, we can too with, uh, and that's what we're choosing to do and it feels okay. like we can honor one another, right? Like we can honor you and what you're doing and like what the Lord's put in your heart and like how he's asked you to serve and like how he's asked you to pray. We want to honor and bless you. Can we like pray for you? Like we just want to bless you, but this is some, this is different. We're doing something different tonight. And it feels like not honoring, you know, we want to have a culture of love and honor and you know, in the Lord, we're like in unity in one spirit. And like this, it doesn't feel that way. Like if we were to go and worship, you know, when you're trying to talk with people or, or explain to them, you know, outside of the clinic, if we were to do that, that wouldn't be us walking together in unity, right? Um, if we did what? If, if we came out and we were doing something different when you're trying to, like, have a ministry event, like, that would that would not be in unity. We'd want to coordinate it together, right? I mean, you could come and, and start bring something to our attention, and we're like, okay, we, and we haven't addressed this the way we should have, and, and like, I, I, guess, I guess with this, it's, it's, it's a great urgency. Because yeah. children are going to be mur children, our neighbors in the womb are going to be murdered tomorrow morning. And, you, and do you do you, you think that what do you think is going to happen with, with talking with the people here? Like we're, they, they, we're they can be like to love people, right? Our debt is to love people. Yes, ma'am. Are we loving people? I, th I think so. Are you it's loving us right now? Are you honoring us? We've brought people in. We've done all kinds of things to try to bring people in right now. Are you guys honoring us and loving us well? We 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 can be. Cause I, cause when when I was going to church years ago, and not doing this, yeah. I would have been a breath, a breath of fresh air if I had if there were Christians come to my coming to my church doing this. I would have greatly appreciated. It. I'm like, thank you. I would I probably would have told them, nobody here cares about this. I'm the only one. We, and I'm not I'm not okay. saying anything about this. I don't about ethnos. I'm not sure, but I'm just saying, like when I when I was going to churches, and like I was the only one who seemed to care about this, take took this seriously. And if and if I saw this coming out, I'm like, oh, Christians actually care about this. I'm not alone. Yeah, we, and we do care, I and mean, we do all kinds of different things, including walking with women, walking with women during their unexpected pregnancies, working with foster care girls. And you know what? If we have somebody who comes in who's had an abortion, we wouldn't want them. This is not what we want them to see when they come in. And I don't feel like it's really honoring to us. So this is this is this, this doesn't feel honoring. So just pray that the Lord would like really like unite our hearts because I want to have one heart in the Lord like I don't want us to, to like be working like not together that's not that's no, we, I mean we, we can work together it, yeah but just, we, that, ca that means we have to respect one another and right now it doesn't feel honoring or respectful do you know what I mean just because of the pictures or 
Mm -hmm. Well, the pictures themselves, yeah. Like, the pictures themselves are meant to be shocking. And for somebody who's had an abortion, they've received the grace of God. They've received forgiveness. Do you know how difficult that is? Well, they can they they can have compassion, but like maybe I can, I can. But shouldn't they get to choose how they engage with that and how they well, engage with the compassion of God? Why does that need to be in their face? Well, a lot when of mothers. They're mother, walking I'll, into a healing space. They're trying to walk into a place of healing. Well, a lot of mothers never get healed because they never deal with what they did to their child, and, and this can help. This can we, help. But we get to choose. How, we, shouldn't we, as an organization, get to choose how we how we d- demonstrate that to people, and how and shouldn't people get to choose how they engage with the Lord? This isn't this isn't allowing choice. The Lord gives us choice, and right now, you're you're not allowing us to exercise choice because you're coming and we're asking we're asking you to leave, and you're not doing that. Do you, does that yeah. make sense? I guess I just like we're speaking up on behalf of our pre-born neighbors so are so. we but we're choosing to do it in a different way and we should all have a choice about how we do that well and the, especially the, when you're when we're reaching out to bring people in so that they can engage with the love of god if they never know the love of god they're never going to get to a place of being able to even hear this message of healing of repentance so this is a different it's a different type of ministry it's a different angle i'm not i'm not here telling you what you should or shouldn't do i'm asking you to be respectful of what we are trying to accomplish tonight with the lord the vision that the lord has given us for tonight it's different and that's okay we're all ministering we're just doing different things so i just pray that the lord would like really like you would speak to your heart like about what it would look like to honor and respect this place what we're doing in this community the way we're choosing to love and engage with what holy spirit is doing in this community right now. that doesn't mean that we um we weren't going to dishonor or disrespect you and, and the things that you guys are doing we're just asking for the same like respect and honor back okay so that's, that's did, you, did, you, did you want one? Um, Explains more of basically why we're here. Maybe, I'll take maybe one. more detail. I'll, I'll take one, and um, yeah, I will. I'll take one, and I will read it, and I will also pray. What's your okay. name? No, Nicholas. Say it again. Nicholas. Nicol- Nicholas? Yes, ma'am. Oh, I'm Jessica. Yeah, it's Jessica. No, it's Jessica. I just thank you so much for my brother Nicholas, Lord, and I just pray that you would really, that you would give us love for one another, that you would give us compassion for one another that you would unite us in hearts, Lord, and what you are doing, what you want to accomplish in this neighborhood, in this city, Lord. We cry out with compassion for the moms, Lord, the moms and the children, Lord, that feel unloved, they feel unwanted, they feel like they don't have any, they have nowhere to go, Lord. We pray that they would that they would know the love of the Father, that they would know that your abounding grace, that they would know that if they can, if they put their trust in you, that you will provide for them and all of the needs that they have. I pray for Nicholas. I pray for his ministry. I pray that you would continue to lead, guide, and direct them, that they wouldn't trust in their understanding, but in the heart, in the very heart of God, and that they would only do those things that they see the Father doing and say the things that that the Father is saying, like Jesus did. And I pray that we would grow, Lord, in abounding love. It says that when your love abounds to us more and more, that we can then choose love's best, Philippians 1.9. So I pray that your love would come and it would abound in my heart and in Nicholas's heart and in all of our hearts, that we would be able to choose love's best in every situation, knowing how to love one another well, Lord. We want to love well. We want to love well. John 17, it was your last prayer, Lord, that we would be united, Lord, and that by our unity and love, they would know us, Lord. So show us how to advocate on behalf of the voiceless. Show us how to advocate on behalf of of the ones that, that don't have a voice, the children that are unborn, that don't have a voice, the children that are sitting in foster care, the women that are being trafficked. Lord, show us how to advocate for these ones, the ones that don't have a voice. Give us your heart, Lord, so that we that we know the words to say when we do speak on their behalf, that they would be filled with the, your love. Just bless, bless Nicholas, Lord. Bless him, Lord. Bless his family. He'd be the head and not the tail always, Lord. Bless him is coming and is going and fill him, fill him, fill him, fill him up, Lord. Jesus.
love so big. You just pop is going to direct your heart. I just see the Lord's directing your heart in love, but you have a heart's cry to know his love more and more and for his love to be known more and more. And I know that the Lord is going to lead, guide, and direct you in supernatural ways, Nicholas, in supernatural ways. I, uh, I invite you to <clears throat> talk to the people here about coming out to the uh, affiliated medical medical services abortion mill tomorrow morning because okay. they're going to be murdering children, our neighbors. Okay. And my the question is, how can we worship and praise God while we ignore mass murder? But you're, you're, you're assuming that we're ignoring it and we're not. And well, right, and that's most why, people do. I, and that's so why I was asking you. Like, I don't. I don't, and I work okay. with foster care kids, and we have we have girls that come in that have been trafficked, that have been forced to do all kinds of horrible things, and this is not what I want for them. You know, so I don't want them to come in and see this. This is not what I want for them. I will ask the leaders. I will ask the leaders. I will ask the people that that are it's appropriate to ask. I will ask them. What's appropriate? You know? It's appropriate. No, no, no. I'm saying I won't ask everybody. It's not appropriate for everybody. People don't understand why would I ask them to go. There's some people that don't. Because they haven't thought about it. And once they realize that, wait, children are being murdered? Maybe well, everybody knows that abortions are happening. Not everybody understands it's a murder, and that's a revelation that you can't give them and I can't give them. That's the Holy Spirit that needs to give that to them. You can, so you, we you can, can use it to, to, get, to be like, they, they realize that. Like where, the where am I? not going to make them understand that, Nicholas. But they can understand that it's, it's... in their heart. It's The Holy Spirit has to speak. The same way that the Holy Spirit re re revealed Jesus to you, revealed that you had sin, is the same way that he reveals to other people. It's not something you and I can do. We cannot do it. Trust me. It is not something we can, we can speak truth. He said, Jesus said, your debt to others is to love them. That's what he told us. And right now I'm asking you in love to please, I, I, and I'm saying I will talk to people. I will talk to people. And I will, I, I will also read this. And I will also pray for you. And I will also pray if the Lord has anything that he would want me to share with you or anything that he would want us to collaborate on. I really will. I'm not just saying that. I really will. I'm asking you to do the same way. I'm asking you to be respectful of all the effort that we put forth tonight. We brought people in from all, and I'm just asking you to be respectful. So I hope I hope that we can that we can agree. Okay. So what? To be to be respectful and. Um, it would be to leave. It would okay. be to leave. It would so be if we leave, leave, you'll talk to people and. I'm going to talk to people regardless. The message is different, though. If you're respectful, then you're. I can trust you in ministry. When you, if you're not going to be respectful, then how can we? We, know, we can't have. We don't have a platform on which to build trust. Okay. It would be like if I were to go out and do something that you were saying, please don't do this. Like, we came and you, we got there and you're like, you know what, that that thing that you're doing, please don't do that. And we were like, no, we're going to do it anyway. And then you'd be like, hey man, like that's not, we're not like in unity. You're not respecting my vision. You're not respecting my heart. You're not respecting what the Lord's shown me. And if we continue to do that, it would be difficult for us to partner later on. You know what I mean? Okay. Does that make sense? So that's, that's all I'm saying. You want a few? Yeah, get, get give, you can give me a few. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate you just like listening, hearing me out, and yeah, respectful. I yeah, I would just say. I will, I, I, I will keep my word. Okay. I will keep my word. I'm asking you to just to, to okay. also honor me. Okay. What we're doing. So thank you. Have a good night. Yes, Ms. Jessica. Yes, Ms. Jessica.